Morning everybody. Love me whiskers. Right, I've just completed this second boxwood miter plane. Um, I haven't got an iron for it. This is boxwood. Um, but I just wanted to compare it with Daddy, um, which I copied um, a Matheson plane. I've lowered the angle. I've, this one's 27 degrees, this one's 20. Uh, I had one piece of boxwood left over, which was that size. I think it's 13 inches long. Um, so I thought I'd make a plane that length. Incidentally, the Matheson, I had the, I had the length of the Matheson in the catalogue. It was 13 inches long. But when I made this, the biggest piece of boxwood I had was about... 12 inch or 12 and a half otherwise it would have been 13 inches long but this one is 13 inches long um i want i wanted to show you the amount of shavings boxwood shavings sarah's going to walk around and show you they're all from that plane and incidentally, I had to use a mitre plane to finish the boxwood off to prevent it tearing. Um, I used the Holt Zaffel and I used Honey Bear. And after I'd taken all this timber out, the actual piece of boxwood, which was straight to begin with, it cupped after about a day while I was working on it. Not much, but about a good 30 second of an inch from end to end. This was hollow, which I've had to throw up afterwards. Uh, and I think it was because I'd taken all the wood out there, uh, that made it cup. I've done completely different detail on the chamfers and of course I've rounded that. The original uh, Matheson one was rounded like that. Oh and I resisted putting linseed on it for about two hours after I'd made it. I couldn't resist any longer <laughs> not to dunk it and I noticed this and it's got a bit of discoloration in the boxwood to the other end and that absorbed more oil up because I had it standing like that and I had it standing like that in linseed the reason for that is I have no idea but anyway I thought I'd just show you that it's all out of one piece of boxwood same piece 